What's up, guys? So I'm going to do a twin flame reading um, for October 21st. I'm excited about this reading. October 22nd is my birthday. So I just want to read the energies. I've been seeing 2222. Two, two, two. I saw it three times when I woke up this morning. That's a twin flame number um, about unification of unification of the of the dualities of yourself. So I decided this morning that I will no longer be doing low vibrational um, twin flame readings because the twin flame process is more so about you becoming one with yourself. You and I, all of us, becoming one with our spirit self. Our masculine and feminine internal energy energies becoming one with God and ourself. So the fact that they this twin flame journey has been turned into relationship readings where you know a person is running and a person is chasing or where a person is being rejected and someone it, you feel a connection to this person it could all be true but that is not what the twin flame process is primarily about the twin flame readings and processes should be more about you becoming one with yourself um, if you're watching Twin Flame readings for the sole purpose of a relationship, then maybe your focus should be relationship readings instead of a Twin Flame reading, which is for high vibrational souls and people who are searching to become one or seeking to become one with their higher self. Well, with their other half. I don't want to say higher self either because, you know, masculine and feminine energies, I want to say are equal. Um, I wouldn't say that one is better than the other. We work together. Your masculine and your feminine energies work together with God to produce the highest form of you so that you can be a vessel of light on earth. So I said all that to say, you know, this reading is a twin flame reading, but it's not a relationship reading. So I will be viewing it and reading it from the viewpoint of you becoming one with yourself and living in a higher life and purpose and more life and abundance high vibrations and the good life inspired by um me seeing 2222 this morning 2222 and then i saw a show it's called my twin or something like that it's on netflix but it's really good it's a it's really like subliminal messages about the twin flame process and it's becoming mainstream so we have to start keeping it real and focusing on the big picture of twin flame being you becoming one with yourself not you chasing someone in a relationship or someone chasing you to be in a relationship is way way a higher purpose than a relationship it's okay to have relationship readings but i will not use the twin flame process as a means to reel people in who are in relationships that need help yes with that being said i want to put on my bracelet i need some charging um, with that being said, without further ado, let's pull some energy. Where is my essential oils? That is so weird. Did I take them out? Um, I know I'm going to take my essential oils to my new house, but I know I didn't, I didn't, I don't remember taking it out of there. And I really wanted to rub it, but that's okay. I hope you guys week is going to go well weekend went well um perfume is just super 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 fresh oh y'all saw that popped out patience Ooh. all tied up cornucopia I want to read those first. So, cornucopia is really good energy. Patience can be about alchemy, spiritual completion, and also about you know divine timing and being waiting on divine timing and accepting divine timing. So, let's um, all tied up came up first. So, okay, my computer's messing up. So we have all tied up, and we have patience. So there could be something along your journey that's keeping you in your life, in your journey, that can be keeping you or I tied up. 
um, or things can seem really stuck, like you're not moving forward, you're not progressing, and it's because you're in the energy of desperation. So Spirit is saying, Cornucopia is here, um, but you're in the energy of desperation. So that could also be keeping things from keeping things from progressing. And I want to read Archangel Cameo number 37 because I just saw the number 37 three times on my computer when it froze on the video when 37 seconds came up and on this card at 37. 37 is the heart of wisdom. 37 is also a, it's a number of being one with God and being one with your masculine and feminine energies. But it says emotions of desire and life force energy. Yes. Its location is your third chakra in the center of your life force. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and personal energy. When it appears upright, an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move towards the completion of your desire. It's the life force is vibrating with power and resonance. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it. So it's like... Our life force energy, it's like we have the desire there and spirit wants to bless us with our desires. You see cornucopia right there with Archangel um, Cameo. So it's like we can be blessed and spirit wants to bless us. But we're, yeah, cornucopia literally says wishes fulfilled. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you. You may find that all your wishes are fulfilled. This cornucopia is a gift from the universe and comes in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. So it's like the universe is saying, I want to bless you. You're doing well on your journey. You're doing well on your twin flame journey. You're nearly there. You're, you're there, actually. But you're in the energy of desperation, and it's tying you up. You're keeping yourself tied up because you're in the energy of desperation. So it's like let go of desperation. Go with the flow. Trust the universe. Trust in the divine and divine timing. You've been on this twin flame journey. If you've been doing the right thing and you've been focusing on becoming one with yourself and God, your masculine and feminine energies, you're balancing yourself. So it's like spirit saying you're blessed already. But in order to receive your blessings, let go of the low vibrational energy of desperation and it's in the and it's keep basically keeping you and your blessings tied up so in order to free yourself and to receive fulfillment and wish wish fulfillment be in the energy of peace and let go of the energy of desperation a lot of things can keep us desperate financial constraints can have you desperate a lack of fulfillment can have you desperate and longevity in the process can have you um, desperate. I've been on this twin flame journey, um, spiritual journey, specifically for four years. So sometimes I find myself in the energy of desperation because it's like, okay, what did I do this for? You know, I'm ready for the abundance that was promised to me. So it's like, but being okay with what you have now, being grateful for your blessings, it could change like that. I'm telling you, when I was blessed with this house that I just got, it's like one day I just woke up and I was trying to fight back negative energy by 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, boom, beautiful home. So it's like, let release that energy of anxiousness and desperation so that the universe can bless you with wish fulfillment. So let's practice meditation this week. Let's practice peace this week and submission to divine plans and timing, knowing that we went on this journey for a reason and we will get our wishes fulfilled based on the things that we've completed on this journey. Okay, let's pull some tarot and see what comes out. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is fertility. It could be creation. I'm getting Empress vibes with Queen of Pentacles. But it's like, but no, it's like the after effect of the Empress. Look at this in the Eight of Wands. I'm going to put it with it. So it's like the after effect of being an Empress the chariot on the bottom of the deck it's really time to move forward and get the results that you also deserve from your projects that were stale so these are our projects that were stale did not move forward felt like they were stuck so the things that were stuck are now 
ready to bear fruit and manifest in a quick really quick and very abundant way so when i see the queen of pentacles i'm getting creation vibes but i'm getting creations that were already created and finally getting the fruit from your labor from this creation and it could be multiple it could be eight look at these eight wives but it's like finally manifesting abundance and and futility and um you know, coins, financial blessings, and stability and security from the things that you have already created. So we can expect abundance. As we get out of this energy of desperation, we can expect abundance to flow in very quickly from the things that we've already created. You know what, Spirit? I'm out of the energy of desperation right now. I let no person, place, or thing get in the way of me and my blessings. I submit my peace, my trust, in divine timing and in the divine universe knowing that my blessings are on my on this way to me in the right time amen it is done all right so let's see what else we get i had to stop and do that because i don't want anything i don't want to be responsible for you know my life for being stuck and, and not being blessed when the universe wants to bless me because i'm in a low vibrational energy we have to stay in high vibes even if it means we have to get up early and meditate if it means we have to pray if it means we have to whatever do yoga whatever it is work out whatever it is we have to let go of the energy of desperation knowing that blessings are flowing to us the moon hierophant hmm so it's like, even if you didn't see it, or you didn't see it happen, it's like you've become one with yourself in the dark. So this could be explanation as to why you're getting blessed. The three of wands just failed too. So I'll leave it with it. And now the four of pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. So it's like your vision. I'm, this is, I'm getting vision here and I'm getting hold on to your vision with the four of pentacles and the three of wands. So it's like you held on to your vision regardless of whether or not it was moving or not. You held on to your vision. We held on to our visions. And while we didn't see it going on in the background, everything was coming together. We're becoming one with our masculine and feminine energies by you know, holding on to our vision, practicing our gifts, creating our projects, learning about ourselves, learning about our purpose, seeking God, learning who we are in God, knowing that we are recreated to be vessels of light on earth. We follow the blueprint to become one with ourselves and one with God and our purpose. And things were coming together, even if we didn't see it, because it happened in the dark. Before we get to light, there is dark. So it's like things were going as planned in the dark, but they're going to manifest in the light very soon. So these things that were happening in the dark are going to manifest soon. And then the three of wands here is like your vision and your will, your willpower. Regardless if you didn't see all of it happening, you were coming together as one with their higher self. Well, with their masculine and feminine energies, your spirit self. By everything that was happening during the process of darkness, you were becoming one with yourself. And because of that, you'll be immensely blessed. We will be immense, immensely blessed. So it's important when you know the universe wants to bless you that you, you definitely make you we cannot afford to be in low vibrational energies. So high vibes is the thing of the week, theme of the week, high vibes only. High vibes only. High vibrations only. Look at that. High prices. High vibrations only positive vibes only high vibrations high vibes only this is us Ooh, in the empress come on now let's get to the last let's get that last one let's get it let's get through this nine of wands energy high vibes only creation Creative, being in a creative flow of the universe with the Empress there. It's like being one with the universe and a creative flow of the universe. You may create something. You may uh, whatever. But it's high 
vibes only. Intuitive vibes only. We're not letting sight beat our ass this week. We're not letting disappointments or desperation or death beat our ass this week. We're going to be in high vibes only. Even if that means creating something, even if that means meditating and being in a creative flow, energetic flow of the universe. High vibes only. Why? Because that's the best way to be. One. And two, we're becoming one with our higher self. And three, we're being blessed because of it. And we don't want to be the one standing in the way of our own blessings. That's a good way to end. But I'm going to pull one more time and see. Come out. Ooh. Notice we got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like everything coming together. This is a pair. We got two pairs in this reading already. We got the Hierophant, we got the Queen of Pentacles, and we got the King of Pentacles. And then we got some more stuff on the here. I didn't pull it out yet. But it's like the, queen, the King of Pentacles is the pair to the Queen of Pentacles. Both energies, masculine and feminine, coming together. Internal and external coming together. Vessel and spirit coming together. And creating abundance and stability. Increase and overflow in our lives. Can this also mean a partnership? Can this also mean a male figure or a female figure coming as a pair, as one, as well? Yes. Being on the Twin Flame journey does not exclude you from a partnership. Of course, it draws in the partnership as well, but it is not about the partnership. It's about your individual partnership within yourself. But I'm not going to ignore this King and Queen of Pentacles can be internal and external, a partnership as well. Completing your journey and becoming one, becoming one with someone to finish it with. Okay. King of Cups was on the bottom of the deck with that. The King of Cups energy of balance, the energy of emotional being stoic. I was going to say stoicism. I don't know if that's a word, but it came to mind. But the energy of not letting things get to you because you know the abundance is coming. The abundance could be coming in the multiple partners. But not, not, but not to be in a relationship with multiple partners, but choosing partners. An abundance. An abundance of blessings. An abundance of financial blessings. An abundance of security and, and life entering a new life phase. And an abundance of opportunities as it pertains to businesses and careers and partnerships. And remaining calm and remaining balanced knowing that this is all coming in. And not... In the energy of anxiety. We got 99 here. Actually, wow. Perseverance. 999. Nine, nine. Like literally all three of these is on the bottom of the deck. Persevere. You may lose someone or something. Persevere though. You'll get through it. You'll get through it. Persevere through this last challenge. Justice. The world. The star. And on the bottom of that deck, because it was split in half, I took both. Judgment. Yeah. So it's like, things are, let me sit this down because I'm done with that. Judgment. Look at that. Eight of wands and all tied up want to show itself. But anyway, things are coming full circle. Your world is turning around, bringing recognition, bringing blessings, bringing karmic blessings. Being on this twin flame journey is not easy. But finally, everything is starting to manifest. This justice card could still be Libra season. We have two days left. But it's like getting the recognition that you deserve, everything coming full circle, and being blessed because of it. 
receiving the blessings from the seeds that you already put out. It's like balancing the scales. You've been giving, giving, giving on this journey, giving of your life, giving of yourself, giving of your time, energy, gifts. And finally, it's receiving. Because judgment. Again, this journey is about becoming one with their masculine and feminine energies in God. And when you get there, that's when you receive. That's when you receive divine blessings and you become a vessel of light to shine your light upon others and show them the way to the light as well. It's God blessing God. It's God blessing God because you, job well done. Everything has come full circle. You pass the test of perseverance, 999, and finally, you're being blessed because of it. So I'm going to leave it there. Freedom from bondage. Being free from bondage. Being free from negative energy, thoughts, and inaction. Finally, the sun manifesting in the physical reality. Don't allow yourself to be in an energy of loss, an energy of lack. Don't allow yourself to be in an energy of desperation, the energy of sorrow. High vibes only is the thing for this week because we're being immensely blessed. Thank you for your like, subscribe, comment, and shares. Thank you for your love and support and connection. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Every like counts, every view counts, every minute counts, every share counts, every subscribe counts. And I deeply, deeply, deeply appreciate all of you who have done that, even though YouTube is a hater. But you know what? I'm grateful that this platform has brought us together. So I wish you love, I wish you light, and I wish you more life.